better test for diabetes could be on the way. It's thanks to two Clemson researchers. And it's not just helping man, but also man's best friend. Our Addie Hampton explains how in the 7 News Medical Watch. Clemson PhD student Kayla Wilson is a lifelong diabetic with a goal to help others with the disease. It was this school trip to Tanzania where she saw firsthand how dire a problem diabetes was in third world countries. So I was out of the strips that I needed. She found no one who carried those supplies. I, you know, went six days without being able to check my blood sugar, which, you know, is a long time for me, but for most diabetics in low resource settings, that, that is the norm. It sparked an idea she took to her bioengineering professor, Delphine Dean. They created a coated paper tab called LifeTab. The idea is a drop of blood will turn it colors. A mobile app takes a picture of the tab and produces a reading of that color. We're hoping that by making something uh, uh, relatively cheap and uh, affordable, we'll get more people uh, to kind of be able to monitor. The idea caught on and sparked a question. And people started asking, you know, could we use this for our diabetic dog? Insert vet tab. Similar idea, but uses your pet's saliva. Business partner and CEO of Accessible Diagnostics, John Warner, explains. So for a pet owner, instead of having to prick their animal and get a drop of blood, if they could take a drop of saliva and get a color and use their phone and, and get a number, it's a game changer for them. That tab could soon be on store shelves and it allows for further FDA testing for LifeTab. Their goal? Reaching the 700 million people in the world who have a form of diabetes. In Clemson, Addie Hampton, 7 News. Now the hope is to have vet tab on shelves by 2017, life tab on the shelves by 2018. If you're interested in learning more or want to donate to the project, just look for this story on WSPA.com.